Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Just on my mail call unboxing from Yaki and sorting all my shit out. I've just finished work cleaning windows and gutters today and I'm gonna have a shave. So I've got less than 24 hours growth again. Probably, what time is it? Oh no, I've got more than 24 hours growth now. So, new brush, new razor, but I am gonna be using Lather Bros Takeout Night. Now the scent on this on the front is sweet chili, ginger and lemongrass. Oh, what a scent. It just smells incredible. Scent strength's really strong. It's a good six, seven out of the tub, at least. Uh, and, and it smells incredible. It's got a real sort of, you can definitely get that sweet chili ginger sort of lemongrass. It's, it doesn't smell like a curry, if that's the sort of thing that you think of when you smell, hear those notes. And obviously the chow mein box, or the, the box on the front there, the Chinese food box, gives you a, makes you think it's gonna smell like that. But it, it just has a beautiful sort of Asian inspired scent and it's really really nice. It's a very gourmand scent. That does have similar similarities to Is it Sex on the Beach? What was it called? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. The tropical one that they had. It was like a tropical scent. It does have a similarity to that. It's got that sort of note going through it. But it's really, really nice. Right, the brush of choice for today is the Yaki brush. So you guys have followed me for a long time, you know my sort of stance with Yaki and where it was, but I'm going to take these products as they are and give them an honest review on it, what I think. So the first brush I'm going to use, the knot that's in here is a silver tip knot, I believe it's I'm pretty certain it's silver tip. And it's, I love the handle, I think the handle's really, really nice. And there we go. I think it's lovely. I love this, it's one of my favourite colours, this, even though I'm a Man United man, I love this sort of colour. Uh, you can see on the bottom there, Yaki Brush Professional 24, 24 mil silver tip I believe. Now the tips on this are super fine and super soft. They don't gel at all. There's no gelling on it. I've test lathered this and I've test lathered the other brush, which I believe now is a two band finest. And the finest bus, believe it or not, feels softer on the on my hand. But this one's denser, really dense for silver tip, like super dense. That's, uh, I mean, that, that's a really dense knot. Slight bit of funk, but not too bad. So I'm just going to re-dip this in the water again. I just flipped it all out. I don't know why I'm re-dipping it. Right, so here we go. Straight into Takeout Night from Lather Bros. So this is a new brush. So I'm sort of, yeah, lots of new variables all in the one shape. New soap, new brush, new razor. Oh well. So this brush and the other three brushes that I got from Yaki, including the two razors that were sent over, like I've said, I've said it several times now. If you guys out there have got friends or you've got people or even yourselves and you, you're just struggling, you can't, you just can't afford stuff to, to, to get nice products. These are lovely brushes. I'm not going to deny it. They're well made. The knots in them are excellent. The knot that's in this one's really, really nice. It worked up a better lather than the finest one, I must say, and the test lather that I did. Right, that's the brush loaded. You can see how dense that is. It's really heavily loaded. See if I can get that to focus. Really nice. So it's going to affect the scent a little bit, but not much because it's a very strong scented soap. It is still very cold over here, so it is a warm water shave, but a no prep shave. So it's, uh, I've literally, that's the first time I splash water on my face. So let's paint this load on and hopefully not get a reaction to it, but we'll see. Oh, the scent's beautiful. tips. It's got a nice weight to it. The knot feels lovely. If I'm honest, it's a really nice looking knot. I love the colours of it. It's really nice. 
Obviously the look of it doesn't make any difference to how good it is. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a great lather from this knot. I'm really, really confident. Right, here we go. All right, there's actually, it's not a scritch. There's a lot of scrub to say this is silver tip. It splays super easy. I was quite, I'm quite surprised actually. I thought it was going to take a little bit more to splay, given that it's quite a dense knot. Now Gloria Cheng over at Yaki was, was wonderful to work with really, uh, she was really polite in the messages and things like that. So I can't really fault that and from what I've heard from people, they've been having great experiences even when they get things wrong, they fix it straight away and send you a new, a new brush if it's broken or it's not right or they send you a new razor. They don't expect anything in return in terms of sending stuff back and things like that. So I'm, I'm impressed that way. The, the customer service seems to be on point for what would appear to be a rather large company now. You can see how easy this is lathering up. This is a new brush. I've never used this brush before. But that lather is exceptional. The flow through is working beautifully on the brush. As you can see, I just scooped all the flow through onto my chin. That's my sort of technique with flow through. Mm. So, Lather Bros latest formula. It definitely, 100% lathers easier, quicker. That's lovely. The brush is chock-a-block and it's worked really well. I can't grumble with the brush. The Yaki double open comb razor. It's got a sort of halo handle similar to a Razor Rocks handle and yeah, similar to PAA's double open comb that they released which was a clone of something else from years ago but yeah. The blade I popped in there is the same blade that I've been using the past couple of shaves, the Persona Made in Glasgow blade. And uh, this is the third shave on it, so we'll just stick that in the water. And here we go, I've never used a double open comb before. By all accounts, that's quite mild. I'm not, it feels similar to what the car feels, it's just, these blades are just off the charts good. It's a mild shaver, but it's reasonably efficient. That's pretty efficient actually, it's very nice. It's got a very, very thin head. Very nice feedback. It does have that sort of fake metal feedback as well. It's got a, a tinny sort of sound. But it's nice, it's a lovely feedback. Performance on the soap is spot on. That's really protective, it's really slick. I'll just wipe my fingers now and do my usual. 
and the residual slickness is lovely. It's really nice. I can feel there's a coating on there, like the sort of oils and things. It's really nice. You can see the shine probably on my skin as well. The razor, however, <laughs> is very surprising. I wasn't expecting such a nice shave. I've got to be honest. Very, very smooth, very comfortable. It's mild, but it's efficient enough to chop the hair down. So here we go. Pop the flow through from the Yaki 24mm silver tip. This is a really nice brush. It's got a lovely handle on it. It's well built. It is hand turned, I believe. It is hand turned, so it is essentially an artisan brush. I'm just going to dip the tips here and see if we can make this grow without using the, the flow through just yet. Yeah, it's, it's growing lovely. Really, really good soap. This brush feels beautiful. And Andre and Steph, you'll be pleased to know. I don't think I'm having a reaction, so that's great. I'm a little bit tender, a little bit sensitive, but that could be just post to the shave yesterday. So cross the grain with the vintage persona blade and the Yaki double open comb. It's a really nice shaving razor. Really nice. Um, very, very impressed if I'm honest, I've got to say. Now I've always stood by the stance of it's not similar, it's not the products. I had a feeling the brushes would be nice. I've used the knots before. The handles are lovely. I wasn't expecting a shave like this from the razor, I've got to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be this smooth and this comfortable. Now the blade's making a difference obviously. And I think you have to take into account that I've never used this razor before. It is, it is so mild that you do need to buff a little bit, but I do that with the calf, the calf needs that as well. And my lips are a little bit sensitive, but I don't think it's a soap. It feels a little bit burny, but I think it's an after reaction from yesterday. The rest of my skin, including my lips, my actual lip lips, not the top of my lip or anything like that feels fine. So, thank fuck, this soap's really nice, the scent's amazing, it's so strong. So for you guys out there, now Andre that makes this, I'm not sure how much input Stephanie has on it, Steph, I think it's Steph, I'm going to go with Steph because it doesn't say Stephanie on her profile or on Instagram, I'm not sure how much input Steph has on it but the scents are beautiful, Andre does struggle with sensitive skin so he does test out his soaps to make sure they don't write with him. Strangely enough, he did send me a message yesterday saying that he, he hadn't actually tested that particular one that I got the batch or whatever. So, I'm just devastated because I've been so excited to try the splashes, and the splash smells brilliant. I am 
starting to actually believe it or not after seeing all that I am feeling a little bit all over my face now but at this stage I'm not going to be worried about it I think it's mainly because my skin is a little bit damaged from yesterday excuse me yeah this razor is very very comfortable it's very smooth the angle is almost impossible not to find Yeah, it's not as close as the calf, I have to say, it's not quite as close, but all in all, it's a wonderful little razor. So, hats off to those guys over at Yaki for actually producing a, a half decent razor for such a low cost. Tied up around the lips. Brush. Brush. The brush performed extremely well. It's really nice, lovely knot. Right. Yeah, that is a really nice shave. Well, I have to be honest, it's not a million miles away. from the calf. It is really a smooth shaving razor. It is mild, but it's efficient enough. It's way efficient enough. I mean, that's a really, really close shave for me. No nicks, no cuts, no weepers, no real irritation. There was a little bit just at the end, just to show you how much lather this knot holds. But it is releasing it really well. This, this soap's really nice, it really is good stuff. So yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm surprised, I have to be honest, I, I'm very surprised. I wasn't expecting the quality of the brush, the quality of the knot and the quality of the razor to be so good. Okay, it's cheaply made, the razor. But it's cheap metals, the brass handle's obviously a little bit more expensive. The coating on it's not a hundred percent, but it's pretty good. It's a pretty nice looking razor to look at, and for sort of fifteen bucks or something, however much they are, I should have done my research before I came on video. But I suppose at the end of the day, you can go in there and you can check them out and have a look for yourself. The one thing I do like about this knot is it blooms out really nice, so it suits the handle more once you've actually used it. I think it looks nicer once it's bloomed out. The colours and the tips really really nice and you can see how fine those hairs are well I hope you can just a, a really nice little brush it's lovely to use it's ergonomic the, the knot in it is exceptional whoever ends up with this brush or any of the other brushes I would imagine is getting a lovely brush in the den so it's not about freebies it's not about just giving them to anyone I'm trying to really try and help people out with these things with these ones for sure like I say, I don't think I would ever do business in terms of buying Yaki products. It's not my scene. I've just got these four brushes and two razors. 
if Yaki decide that they want to send any more stuff over, they'll just go in the same same box and they'll go out to the same sort of people. And that's my sort of view with these sort of products. I think I'd rather do that than either purchase them. I'd rather purchase, believe it or not, this not might cost five bucks. To, in fact, it probably costs two dollars or something for Yaki to make this not, probably less. But I would rather pay ten for it from Magard or ten for it from someone else to give the business to a company that I would rather give it to. You know, so Yaki get their cut anyway, it doesn't matter. So at the end of the day, I'm still paying Yaki for their product, but I would rather give it to an artisan or a, a company that I would rather give it to. So that's just my stance on it. But at the end of the day, people out there that are struggling or can't afford anything or just low income or can't work or, you know, disabled, anything like that. This is the sort of stuff I want to try and help out. Send some things across the world, across the pond, even in Australia, to people that, that, that would really enjoy it and actually use them and, and enjoy them. I mean, I don't know who wouldn't enjoy these products anyway. The, the brushes and the razors appear to be very good quality. This razor, I could use that razor every day, no problem at all. It shaves very similar to the carve on the C plate, I have to be honest. It's, it shaves very similar. It's a very, very smooth razor. It's mild, but efficient. I think it looks nice for what it is and for what it costs. I think it's a really nice looking razor. And yeah, I can't really say much more about it. Anyway, just give me a second. I'm going to use some mild grooming some of this Helioptoris or Helioptoris aftershave frosted so this has got menthol in it I believe this is his fern Centurus Fugia from Sean Mullen over in Canada now it smells amazing it's got a menthol on there so what I'm going to do I'm going to pop some of this on oh. how am I going to do this do you know what I'm going to go with the splash first because I want to smell takeout night after as well. I just want the properties really for this as well, and just to feel it a little bit. So, Mal Grooming, company over in Canada, as you can see on the back there, we've got all your ingredients. Really, really is full of skin food. Denatured alcohol, organic witch hazel, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera juice, jojoba oil, fractionated coconut oil, castor oil, menthol, liquid lanolin, grapefruit, grapefruit seed oil, and essential oils. All essential oil based. This one smells lovely, it actually matches the scent really nice. So all I'm gonna do is pop three drops in my hand. Oh, one. did I shake that? Don't remember shaking it, let me just shake it again. I don't think I did. I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> Give it a real good shake. And then one, two, three. Three splashes, there's nothing in my hand, it looks like nothing. What a scent. Wow, that smells incredible. It's not a million miles away from the smell of takeout night. It's got a real lovely sort of, oh, I can't put my finger on it. It's almost citrusy, but it's green. It's not a dark fougere scent. It's a really bright, zingy, citrusy sort of fougere scent. If this is the fougere, I think it is. Well, that scent's incredible. The menthol is beautiful. This, I'm trying to not get in my eye. It's got an itchy eye. The menthol's really nice. There's just enough menthol in there that my skin's lovely and cool. And that scent, really nice. Now, I can feel that's three drops, literally three, one, two, three, three drops out of that dripper. And as you can see, it's not a big hole that you're working with. So, 100 mils of this stuff is going to last you a long time. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. My skin feels so moisturised, it's not funny. Do you know what? I'm not going to put the balm on just now. I don't want to... Oh, I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to leave that as it is. I think that just works beautifully with the scent. I'm really happy with that. So the takeout night, I will use this. Don't you worry, a lot of the bros, it will get used. 
Tomorrow I will use the Tropical Bay Rum, I think it is. I'll use that, split that balm tomorrow and I'll come back to this one. The good things with these balms are, they go with everything. I mean, that'll go with a lot of different soaps that I've got. So I'm just, I want to give this splash its own benefits. Just boom, just use that splash. But what a wonderful shave. I'm really, really happy with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite excited by what this is. This is just amazing. Why the Bros soap is spot on. The soap for today was Takeout Night. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Really good scent strength. It is run about a sort of seven scent strength and it stays the same through the whole shave. It really is a good scent of soap. Really nice scent. It's got those scents in there you can pick up, you can get that just that slight sweetness from the sweet chili and then the lemongrass and what's the other scent as well? And ginger. You definitely get the ginger but it's not overpowering and you get that scent just all the time, you smell it the whole time you're using it. I've really enjoyed this shave. I'll... Yeah. Yaki. Or Yatsi. Yaki. Go me Yaki. Yaki brushes. This is a 24mm silver tip and that knot was beautiful. It really was. I can't grumble at the knot. How dense that knot is blew me away when I opened it up. It's so soft tipped. Now this is likely not to hook or gel or anything like that because the tips are so fine already. It's not going to split anymore I don't think. There's no real upside, there's no upside down hairs that I can see in it. There's nothing scratchy or scritchy about it. It's just got loads of scrub. But it just looks lovely. It looks lovely in that handle. And I do really enjoy this handle. I think it's really nice to look at. It's very comfortable to hold. It's good quality. It's solid resin. And I've got the writing on the bottom there as well. Yeah, I get brush professional 24. I'm really impressed. Uh, thank you very much to Gloria for sending them over. And obviously, for sending them over on on the pretense knowing that I was actually going to send them out to other people so thank you very much for sending them over once again even though you're a big Chinese company and I'm, I'm not a fan of the, the sort of aggressive marketing of the company um, you know you've got to be humbled by this sort of thing and it allows me to help someone else out there as well and that, that's the way I want to look at it I'd rather look at it like that than think that I'm using something that I'm not something that I wouldn't personally buy so Thank you very much, Gloria, for sending them over. Thanks very much to Yaki and everyone over there that's making these products because they're, they're good quality products. The double open comb Yaki razor with the sort of halo type handle that Razor Rock does. Similar handle and obviously this is similar to the PAA DOC dock double open comb. Pretty much a carbon copy, I believe. It's a lot of weight in the handle. The, the balance on the razor is actually quite nice. I'll just see if I can find the balance point without dropping it. I think it's round about there. There we go. So the balance point's pretty much bang on the middle. So hopefully that's focused in there. It's super smooth. It's super comfortable. It's mild but efficient. The angle's easy to find. It's not difficult to use. I was in no way or shape or form worried about cutting myself with it, and I haven't. I've had a super smooth, close, comfortable shave. As good as the calf. <laughs> believe it or not, as good as the calf, really nice shave, it's not quite as close as the calf, but it's pretty, uh, you know, it's minuscule levels we're talking here, but I'm just so impressed with it, I really am, so Yaki, you're doing a good job, I can't, I've got to put my hands up, excellent products, they really are, I finished off today, I was going to finish off with this, but I've been so excited to use these products, Sean sent them over, th over three months ago from Canada by boat, they all arrive safe and sound, no leakage, no nothing. I was really happy. And uh, that is Helioptaris, uh, Helioptaris Frosted Aftershave. Alcohol Aftershave, handmade in Canada. Malgrooming.com. So that's the website you want to head over to right there. Malgrooming.com. Now, I believe, I'm pretty sure they're in a few shops now. I think Maga might carry them or Top of the Chain as well. I'm not 100% sure I could be that wrong. Don't shout at me, Sean. But I'm blown away by how good this was. I really am. So I've got a take I've got a shave of the day picture taken already, but I'm gonna go retake it with this in the picture. Really impressed. The scent on it is just wonderful. It's a beautiful scent. And I'm not into that sort of scent, but that's nice. It's really nice. It's a slight floral through it, woodsy, it's almost sweet. It's beautiful. And my skin, I'm not joking when I say it, feels like I haven't had a shave at all. I, even though I had that little bit of a burn on my skin and on my lip and things, I don't feel, it feels 
all I've got is that I still feel the menthol. I can still feel the menthol. My skin feels great. You must be sick of me by now, I tell you what. So, Land of Bros, your soap is definitely, in my opinion, so far, from using all your three, I've used three now, the, the latest formula, is better than your previous formula. It lathers easier, it loads easier, it's slick, it's cushiony, it's protective. I think people will enjoy that more than the previous one, and I enjoyed the previous one. And I, th I think the fact that I've used a brush that I've never used before, a silver tip knot, which is really big and dense, and got a ladder like that out of it. I can't wait to stick a synthetic in this soap. My next shave, I'll use a synthetic brush on it. I can't wait to see what I can pull out with a synthetic brush. And see, I can't remember, did I use a synthetic yesterday? I did, yeah, I used one yesterday, I think. I can't wait to get one that doesn't burn my skin, though. That'll make a difference. But yeah, wonderful. Thanks very much, Sean, for sending your stuff over as well. I can't wait to get stuck into this. This splash is going to last a long time. Shit, I'm talking all the time, mate. I'm actually quite excited about this stuff. As crazy as it sounds, all the expensive gear I've got in the den and used and throughout the last few years, and all the wonderful things I've been sent over, that's... Seriously. You know, Spencer Franco talks about Barbado. This stuff here, I believe, is very similar to Barbado in terms of what's in it. But three drops of that in my skin feels amazing, and the scent's quite strong. So I imagine the scent will be there a little while. I'll give you guys a heads up on the longevity of it when I do my next shave. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And I'll catch you guys next time for hopefully a shorter shave. Cheers.